Jackson's give it your all you say move that ball I'm gonna do a bonus one right at the beginning I'm just gonna try it out see if you like it I used to do cheerleading and when I did we used to do a lot of these exercises so the audience actually knows what to cheer so what we would do is to move our mouths in an over dramatic way so for example one of the cheer was Saxons give it your all you say move that ball you can say a phrase a sentence a tongue twister by the way total shameless plug free tongue twister guide for clear speech down in the description below check it out the point is to over articulate everything and when you find yourself talking too fast oftentimes our mouth closes up and when you close your mouth really small it's harder to understand it's harder to articulate and your voice gets a lot lower and you want to make sure you project and you project your power and you project your enthusiasm so people will actually listen just practice that at home before you go out there and over articulate everywhere really stretching out your mouth using a sentence or two especially tongue twisters and I'll leave a tongue twister video I did down below so you can do it with me while you over articulate your face three cures for fast speech and how to talk a lot slower and more clearly hi my name is lady Tina and if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button and comment below to help my youtube channel out it's gonna help me do a lot more free content such as this and hit that like button as well just to help out my youtube algorithm first and foremost I do want to say that if you are the type of person who speaks fast naturally it's not a bad thing necessarily it's more about how to control that because you don't want to talk slowly all the time and you don't want to talk super fast all the time either what you really want to do is vary up your speed sometimes you go slow to emphasize on a particular point and sometimes you go fast to show the excitement and move along the storyline that being said I know you clicked on this video to learn how to slow it down so let's get into tip number one which is the type writer or writing technique what that is is you pretend that you're typewriting and as you can visualize especially if you're a visual person as you can visualize how fast you can type how fast i can type then that's how slow i'm going to go now again this is an exercise so don't do this out in the world before do this when you're alone record your voice and even though it might seem like I'm going a little bit too slow, especially if you write things out and you say, Dear Diary. It's pretty much that. Dear Diary. Today was a great day. I don't know what happened. Right? So <laughs> as you write it out or type it out because it's a little bit faster, record yourself and see that maybe you feel like it sounds a little bit too slow but the reality is when you hear it back maybe it doesn't sound that slow or maybe it's just a great way to kick it up just a notch and you'll be at the perfect speed so imagining yourself typewriting into a computer or writing it down with your hand if you're a really fast typewriter depending on your words per minute you you'll you'll know you know so that's why i say record yourself so you know how fast you're going and how slow you're going Oftentimes when we talk very, very quickly, it's because we're taking shallow breaths. This happens sometimes if men, you wear really fitted suits and it's hard to breathe full breaths. Women as well, this skirt is meant to be, it's a pencil skirt, so it is cinched in and it's harder to take deep breaths. So what you really need to do is consciously think about six to eight words. Take a breath, take a breath and now continue on your story the deeper your breaths you can take the more words you can say in that breath and subconsciously if you take shallow breaths you want to get in as many words as possible before you need to inhale again so it's causing you to talk a lot more faster than you probably should versus somebody who takes deep breaths if you notice yourself just speeding up you're probably taking a lot more shallow breaths you want to make sure you breathe with your mouth slightly open so don't 
right? But just slightly open. I believe that I can talk a lot slower if I leave my mouth slightly open because I'm taking all the air in and now I have a lot more time to elongate my words, which leads me to tip number three, is elongating your vowels. Earlier when I said how to talk a lot slower and more clearly, I'm elongating the letter O, the vowel O. So anytime we want to slow down or make a specific point into your storyline, because that's what's gonna make you a lot more interesting, is to slow down a specific vowel. Speakers do this all the time, right? All the time is you pick a vowel and you elongate it. So even if you're the type of person who speaks quite fast, quite quick, if you can slow down on something very specific and you're making a point, then you can really not only captivate an audience, but it doesn't seem too crazy that you're slowing down because you are making a specific point. Now, it is noteworthy that you don't just pick a random vowel and <laughs> elongate it everywhere. You want to elongate a vowel that makes a specific point into your speech, into your talk. So just think about what do I want to emphasize on? I did a whole video on how to emphasize words using your hands, your eyes, and your voice. So I'm gonna link that one down below in case you do want to emphasize your words in a presentation or in an interview or any other social setting in which you have to verbally communicate, then check that video out because I think that's gonna be very helpful. Here's a quick bonus one is to do tongue twisters slowly. You could check out my advanced tongue twister video and try to do it slowly. If you have the feature on the YouTube to slow it down on half speed, you are set because it's going to force you to elongate your whole mouth. Also, go ahead and check out my clear speech series because if you're interested in this one, you probably are interested in my series. So I'm going to leave that playlist down in my description as well as the comment below. So check it out if that's what you're interested in. Subscribe, of course, because I'm going to have more videos like this. And hit that like button. Comment below, let me know which of the three was your favorite. Or if the bonus one and cheering is your favorite, comment below, let me know. Because that way I can make more free content and you can benefit for that as well. Remember, go out there and raise your vibe.